Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jalen. Hello if you're new here. So today we are going to be doing kind of an update to me not washing my face for a long period of time to see what happens to my skin. Let me just go ahead and say, so the title says that basically you do not need to buy the Kylie Jenner skincare. Let me go ahead and say that I have not tried it, but but, 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 there's a very good reason why I'm saying this. So pay attention to the video. So basically, I spent an entire month trying to take extremely good care of my skin. Extremely good care. I use serums, oils, lotions, moisturizers, like toners, face wash, everything you could think of. I was using it on my face. And it all came together. It was like a system. So it all was meant to work together in order to give you the best skin. And the longer and the more I was using it, the worse off my skin looked. I have horrible cystic acne and it wouldn't go away. No matter what I did, it just kept getting worse. I just kept having pimples. Um, it didn't matter if it was around my period or not. Always having pimples. And I had a really good diet, so there was no reason um, for me to have that issue. Uh, I mean, obviously I eat bad on my cheat days, but besides that, which I'm having more now than I did before, um, besides that, I ate extremely clean and extremely good so my acne was definitely from a lot of the stuff I was putting on my face and how do I know that because I quit washing my face now it was for two months except for a week ago so as of a week ago it had been two months now since I didn't wash my face and my skin completely cleared up I have some of my scars left because that's not gonna go away um, by itself and then I have some like redness because I just I have redness on my face and that was it and I was shocked so for about a month and a half so it took a couple weeks since I started it but after you know weeks and weeks of doing that I had clear skin and then a week ago someone convinced me to try skincare again and I was reading the ingredients in the skincare that I just tried I read the ingredients in the skincare that I did before and I read the ingredients in the Kylie skincare and a lot of these skincare companies are using the same things and like obviously some things are different it's not all the same like none of these have the walnut in it that she has in one of her products but they all basically have the same type of like basis for their formulas and that that's normal that's typical that's to be expected and um, I only used it on the bottom half of my face guys the bottom half of my face because I was like you know what I want to test it out and I don't want to put it all over my entire face I want to see I should have done half my face I don't know why I did the bottom half of my face that was really stupid but that's what I did so I'm about to get close up and show you exactly what the bottom half of my face looks like compared to the top half and we'll go from there all right so this is the left side of my face I don't know how like focused this will be let me try to see if I can zoom in if that would help oh that's better okay so as you can see this right here is a huge pimple that has a huge cystic pimple it's not the biggest I've ever had but it's pretty big these all right here pimples two pimples pimple here and there 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 and there and then this up here is not acne. This is just the redness I was talking about that won't go away. This is a pimple and this is a pimple right here, but this right here is not, okay? So I did this skincare from my cheekbone over here, down below my nose, all the way up to this cheekbone right here. And look at my skin. Now, let me put it up so you can see. Look at the top half of my skin. Are you seeing the top half of my skin? what this right here is not a pimple this is completely flat this right here is redness it's completely flat there is literally no acne this right here is just redness this is coming down from right here all that that's all redness okay so those aren't pimples i don't know why my face looks like that <laughs> but it's redness the only pimples are the ones i pointed out all the bumps right here those are all pimples these are all pimples do you guys see the top of my face are you guys seeing this? Sorry, I'm like looking up there too, but I'm trying to like show you guys. Uh, like, what? What? And even if you don't believe that I only did the face stuff on half of my face, why do I only have pimples on the bottom half of my face and not the top? So just let me put that out there before anyone tries to say I didn't really do this. So this skincare that I used, I literally tried on the bottom half of my face and I'm breaking out on the bottom half of my face. 
I'm really upset about it because <laughs> there are some great benefits to using certain like lotions and serums and oils and things like that. Like it's good for your skin to moisturize and to have, you know, give your skin moisture basically, but my skin doesn't respond to that well. And I have normal skin. My skin is not oily. It is not dry. It is extremely normal average skin. And for some reason, as soon as I use anything on my skin, this happens. Anything. Um, it's it, it's honestly crazy. So, but the point is, is that if you are struggling with acne, if you have a hard time, and you're older too, it's not like you're 16 and like that's normal you have acne. If you're you know over 20 and you're not really supposed to have acne at this point, besides you know some here and there occasionally, if you have it all the time, and you know there's not a hormonal issue because I've been tested for all my hormones after I had my son and then one more time recently, my hormones are perfect, everything's fine my food my diet is good um it, it doesn't flare up really that much more around my period i mean i'll get a few more but i also get a few more not around my period so if you just are getting acne for no apparent reason that you can think of look and see what you're putting on your face um now the only thing that i use on my face now is i wear all my makeup my makeup has never been a reason that i break out and i know that might sound crazy to you but it's not because there's been times that i went without makeup but still did my skincare and I still had acne and there's times I did my makeup and did my skincare and I still had acne and there's times I did both without skincare and I had no acne so I every night I wipe off my face with my son's baby wipes not even makeup wipes they cost $1.84 at Walmart I use my son's makeup wipes I wipe my face off with it and I go about my business um, sometimes if I'm wearing like a lot of blacks or like dark makeup and you obviously it's harder to get off I'll go into the bathroom and I'll use some warm water and just like pat my face and sometimes there's a little bit left behind like I'm sure I don't know if you can see any because I've taken two showers without makeup on but um a lot of the times I'll have makeup left underneath my eyes and things like that and I just leave it there and go about my business and I have no acne because of it besides right now um but for the last weeks I've had no acne because I haven't been using face stuff and I won't ever go back. So what my plan is to do now is I'm letting you guys know about this right now. So I'm showing you guys what's going on with my skin and in I'm gonna say two, maybe three weeks cause that's usually how long it takes for my skin to heal from breaking out like this. Um, I'm gonna have done nothing but use a baby wipe and I'll film it every single day if you want me guys, if you want me guys, if y'all want me to show you like what I do and like how fast it is and how amazing it is um, and then basically I just take it off I'll film it if y'all want like I said and then um, I'll do an update on what my skin looks like in two or three weeks and I promise you all my acne is gonna be gone all of it's gonna be gone what's breaking me out is something that is in the majority of skincare lines period because I can use a generic non-fragrance lotion on my face and my face is fine but any of these like skincare lines like any of these skincare lines have something in them that really breaks my skin out so I, if i challenge you right now i challenge you do not go buy more skincare hoping your acne is going to go away do not go take those what is the what is the pill is it accutane i can't remember what the pill is do not take any of those heavy pills that hurt your body on the inside too no, it might get rid of your acne but it hurts you look at the side effects don't take like i have that trenton and stuff that you like ointment you put on your face don't do that don't do any of that. Stop. Stop doing everything. Don't touch your face. Still wear your makeup if you want to. Wipe it off with a baby wipe. Do that for a couple weeks and I promise you most likely your acne is going to go away as long as it's not due to um, you know, hormones and things of that nature. Um, it might be your skincare and I really wish more people would try it. Elena Arbucci, she is a YouTuber. I will um, link her below she did, it's kind of called the like caveman regimen where you barely do anything in order to keep your skin clean she did it and she just never washes her face and her skin is beautiful beautiful because she's not putting a bunch of stuff on it that doesn't need to be there what were people doing thousands of years ago they didn't have the stuff we were using now it's not necessary i mean some of it's good for certain people it does help certain people and it can make your face like feel good but it's really not necessary and i promise you the people who have done the caveman regimen their whole lives are probably the people with the nicest looking skin when they're older naturally let's not talk about anyone that has botox or fillers nothing against that i would love to get some if i could afford it um but natural women who are older you know 40 50 who didn't use all these skincare lines usually have the best skin my hu my husband's mom my mother-in-law and my mom are, well, his mom's like 10 years older than my mom, but they're both in their 40s, okay? My mom's in her early 40s, his mom's in her older 40s. 
and they both have amazing skin and neither of them ever purchased high-end expensive uh, face brands or uh, skincare brands ever and they have amazing skin so let's start to think about what we're actually really putting in our bodies and on our skin because I'm starting to think it's not necessary so uh, no hate to Kylie because I love Kylie but the point is is that if you're suffering from acne so this is just people with acne let's just try not to do anything to our faces for a little bit and see if that helps um, if you do try this or if you've tried this and you uh, want to let me know how your experience was and if it worked for you or not let me know down below so everyone else can read your experiences too not just mine do some research on it i'm not saying completely quit taking medicines if you are for your face because that's probably not a good idea i'm not a doctor or a professional this is just what has worked for me and what obviously has not and i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope to see you in the next one um, I know I have like a lot going on on my channel, but I really enjoy making the videos that I like to make. And if you're not the biggest fan of them, you can just skip that one. So uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys.